tree. How are you all? Students, take out your English textbook and look at page 116. Look at page 116, the paragraph of, of sugar and spice. Lesson 1. Let's see it. The sugar and spice, the teacher will read out the following dialogues. Like I will read the dialogues for you and you have to listen it carefully. Policeman, where are you? Why are you crying? Child is asking. Policeman is asking to little boy. Little boy, I am lost. I cannot, I can't find mommy. Like uh, the policeman asked little boy, why are you crying? And the boy said, I am lost. I can't find my mommy anywhere. Policeman then said, what is your name and your father's name? Policeman said, what is your name? Then he asked the little boy, what is your name and your father's name? The little boy said, my name is Umar. My father's name is Adil Bhatt. Then the boy said, my name is Umar and my father's name is Adil Bhatt. Then policeman again said, do you know where you, where you live? The little boy said, I live near the, this market. Mummy was buying vegetables and I started running after a kitten. Then the boy told how he uh, lost his mother that when, while she was, uh, while the mother was buying some uh, vegetables uh, in the market and uh, he started running after a kitten and left her mother and that's why he uh, uh, lost her mother and that's why he was crying. And he started crying again, starts crying again. I want mommy. Policeman, okay, I will. Policeman then said, okay, I will find your mother. Come, come with me to the market. I will announce your name and she will come to you. Then, um, then the policeman uh, tell him, uh, the little boy, then don't worry. Uh, I will uh, come with me uh, to the market. Uh, and I will announce your name louder and your mommy will let uh, let know that uh, uh, you are you are with me so the policeman held the little boy then he hold the little boy in his hand uh, the policeman held the little boy's hand and he held his hand tightly he took him to the market then he took him to the market and announced over the mic and then he announced his name again and again Please, Mrs. Adil, come near the post box. Then he's, uh, then he used to, um, uh, then he used to announce that Mrs. Adil, then, um, who was uh, the wife of Mrs., uh, Mr. Adil, then come near the post box. Your son Omar is waiting for you. And he said, your uh, son, who is Omar, is waiting for you. Omar, clapping his hands. There is mommy. Uh, uh, while he was announcing his, his name, and uh, the little boy uh, saw his mommy. He found her mommy. So uh, he found his mommy. And there is mommy. Run to her. Uh, then um, I am not lost. There is mommy. Run to her. Runs to her. And I'm not lost. I'm not lost. Then the boy say uh, said that uh, there is my mommy. And he started uh, run. Uh, he started uh, uh, to run after her mommy. And he said, uh, I'm not lost. My mother. My mother's found me. Omar's mother. Oh, thank you so much, officer. Thank you so much, officer, for helping my son. Then. Then he, the mother said, the woman's mother said that thank you officer for your help, for your generosity. Uh, uh, um, policeman then uh, uh, said, madam, take care that he does not get lost again. And then he advised the mother, then uh, uh, please ma'am, take care of your uh, child that he uh, uh, do not lost, does not lost, uh, lost uh, you uh, again. So that was all the story. So let's. Uh, uh, do its related exercise in now look at page 15 look at page 15 and exercise uh, let's listen the teacher will read out the uh, dialogue listen carefully and then answer the question I have already uh, read all the dialogues for you and now uh, it's your turn to uh, do exercise with me so look at the question number one what is the question number one why was the bo boy crying why was the boy crying? The boy because he had lost his mother. 
so let's write it the boy was crying he because he has lost his mother uh, as you see half of the uh, question is written so we will not continue with uh, with uh, with this we will only write the main uh, answer of it which is because he had lost his mummy so let's write it i hope you have noted down uh, correctly in your uh, books as well because he had lost his mummy I and mean the full stop as well what look at the second uh, question uh, what did the policeman ask him so the policeman asked him what is your uh, fun, uh, what is your name and your father's name so write down what is your name and your father's name. the policeman asked him what is your name and your father's name have you noted down correctly i i hope you can see it i hope you can see it clearly now look at the third question which is how did the boy get lost the boy so if you remember we have now read it the boy get lost when he was uh, running after a kitten so we will write yeah, when he was when he started running after a kitten then he get lost um, how did the boy get lost when he started running after a kitten when he started running after a kitten does he remember his father's name yes he remember his father's name uh, does he remember his father's name yes he remember his father's name could the boy tell where he lived? Yes, the boy told him that he lives near the market. So let's try. So students, if you see, could the boy uh, tell where he lived? Yes, the boy told him that he lives near the market. Yes, the boy told him that he lives near the market. The half part is above the question number 6. So write it. Uh, correctly look at the sixth one did the boy finally find his mother uh, yes the boy found her mother uh, yes the boy found her mother I hope you can see it uh, what words will you use will you use to describe the policeman what words were, will you use kind for the policeman yes he was very kind enough to help the little boy and his mother uh, will, uh, was he uh, was he clever enough? No, he was he wasn't clever. He wasn't clever, so we will not choose uh, uh, option number B. Uh, uh, was he helpful? Yes, he was very helpful and very kind and very generous. So we will choose kind and helpful. I hope you have marked and you have written the answers correctly in your book. And all is that for today. Uh, I hope you can see all this uh, clearly and we will continue with the next exercise with the new exercise yes uh, tomorrow all is that for today thank you students